Long voice post 1975 YouTuber who's reviewing game Doing rap Voice post 1975 Okay, um, this is Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 1 Released in 1996 by Naughty Dog Clearly attempts to kind of cash in on the success of Mario 64 and the N64 Because everyone was going batshit crazy for that at the time um, slightly more, slightly more, a lot more linear than Mario 64. Though having said that, I do have to say, I'm not a big fan of Mario 64. Um, this is kind of um, a response to a request, I guess. Uh, Padamus, I'll leave a link to her channel in the doohickey down below. Go and check her out, she's awesome. She said, can I see some Crash Bandicoot? Can I see some Crash Bandicoot? That sounds terrible when I put it that way. It almost sounds like a euphemism. Can I see your Crash Bandicoot? Certainly, but it's going to cost you three pints and at least and or dinner. And anyway, I'll shut up before I make complete to write myself. Yeah, so I really, really like this game. This is actually my original copy from back in the day. I was just about to say for when I was a kid, but I actually had this when I was at college. Which makes me go equally as old. Yeah, I really, really like this. I played third one, maybe not the second one. Here's a game or a franchise clearly, you know, in need of a reboot or a new entry. Anyway, that's just me. Right, let's get to this before I fill up my SD card by talking bollocks. Right, standard map affair. Standard loading time. Gotta say, I am really enjoying the fact that the loading times on the PS2 for PS1 games are so much quicker. Right, I still think this looks really, really sort of good. It's a little bit jaggy, a little bit rough around the edges, but you know, what are you gonna do? Right, so what are the controls? I haven't played this in like forever. Jump. Spin. Oh my god, you can tell that I love first person shooters. I was looking for a sprint button. Right, so smashy smashy. Ooh, extra life right at the start. That's either because they're being generous or this game is balls hard. Right, so. I'm assuming standard platform affair I can jump on you, right? Hey! Nice. You know what? What I love about this game is the sound. It, it's so. It, it's kind of 50 sort of Warner Bros. cartoons. I really do like it. Right, jump. Question mark. I don't know about you, right, but if I was in real life and I saw a box on the floor with a question mark, I'd probably avoid it. Right. Whee! Apples. Gotta get you one and five a day. Right. Hey, see you later. No, oh, you can slam him into shit. That's interesting. Oh, I lost my mask. <laughs> cool. Cha-ching! Every time I hear that guitar strum there, I just want to start singing the tiny, the toony, the royal little loony. I don't know. Hey, checkpoint. Right, another mask. Oh! Some kind of uber mask. Nice. Oh, bow down before the power of my uber mask. I'm assuming... Oh, actually, does that make me vulnerable? No, it doesn't. Right. That's a rookie mistake right there. Ooh! Hang on. You know, those apples aren't going to find themselves. Why is it always fruit in platform games? Ooh, look. Not so linear. Let's go left. Oh, check it out, it's kind of cumper. Nice. Is that it? Is that it? Ah. Oh, that's it. Not sure, then I remember. This dog's the first level, you know. Alright, so if I miss stuff, I'm assuming that means it was on the other side. Oh well, can I go back? I don't know. There you go. Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 1. I like it. I may do more of these. I'll see you later.